Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and it's a nice little video. I don't really know what I'm going to call it, but I've it's I'm just got some uh, inside. I've got two objects here uh, selected. I just drew a cube and rounded the corners and a rectangle and rounded the corners. But I want this shape, so I'm going to take the knife tool and I'm going to cut away the interior lines that I do not need. And I don't know how important this is when you're lasering. But if you would look real close at these joints, they're almost broken apart. I mean, they would probably laser, and they, they will laser. But if you wanted a, a cleaner joint, and I'll show you why sometimes you might want a cleaner joint, the best way you could do this is to color fill it. And what I do sometimes when I'm questioning my color fill, I will draw a box around my object just in case there's a leak to color fill it. And that way you know it is not leaking, it's com completely, and you can see over here. So let's run a little test real quick. Let's back up and let's take out, well, let's just do this. Let's zoom in here and let's break this apart just a hair so it will leak and you wouldn't be able to see that except for you've got some arrows here but now let's color fill it and you can see it turned your cube black okay now if you did not have the uh, box around it and it's really irritating sometimes so let's color fill it now and it's color filled everything and a lot of times it will lock up my computer and uh, you know if you've got a bunch of stuff on your workspace it'll lock it up so let's just go back here and let's look at this joint make sure it's closed okay it's back to where it was but what I would suggest to do to make a cleaner joint would be to color well, I don't have everything cut. I backed up too far. So let's color fill this. Take your space, your pick tool, move that out of the way. Go up and left click the no fill. Right click the fill. Let's turn it back into a hairline. Because we're going to cut this out or I will would cut it out later. But now let's look at our joints. Let's get it really close. So you can see this is the old one. And here's the new one. Your joints are closer together. You're going to maybe get a better cut. And definitely uh, this would help you sometimes when you're doing something that uh, might have a break in it. And it's one, it's a good way to find a break. Because if you had a break, and the laser didn't cut it and you take it out of the laser bed you're not going to be able to get it back and cut that little piece that's broken anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching